Hello, I am Dr. Killifus, and today I'm going to show you how to open up your NAT for your Xbox 360 gaming console. What opening up your NAT will do for you, it will rid you of any um, error messages during your network test, as well as receiving lower pings when you play on your Xbox 360, as well as you will be able to connect more of your friends if you have any of those errors over Xbox Live. The first step here is to open up a web browser. For this, I'm using Firefox, but it shouldn't really matter what web browser you choose. The next step is to go to your router's configuration page. For me, I have a Linksys router, and the IP for my router is 192.168.1.1. Um, for your router, it may differ, but you can look that up easily in your router's manual or on your router manufacturer's website. At this, uh, go to your IP address and you should receive a window asking for a username and password. What you enter here depends on your router's brand, but it, um, for my router at Linksys, the password is by default admin uh, with username blank, but, this, um, but you could find this portion out either on your router manufacturer's website or in its manual. You can change this password in your router's configuration page by going to the administration tab. Once you're here, you're going to go to your Access Restrict, I'm, I'm sorry, I mean the Applications and Gaming tab, and here are the ports that you need to open for your Xbox. Uh, the application name doesn't really matter, but for convenience sake, I named mine Xbox 1 through 5. Just write these down, and you can enter this later, or you can pause the video, open up a new window, and do this from there. For the Xbox's IP address, you can simply follow the steps playing the video there. And after that, just fill all this in, uh, type put in your Xbox's IP address, and then click enable for all these ports, click save settings, and then once that's done, go to DMZ, and click enable, and for the DMZ host IP address, enter your Xbox's IP. And what DMZ will do, it will effectively open up every port for this IP address. It simply acts as extra insurance to ensure that you have an open NAT for your Xbox. At this point, when you redo your network test on your Xbox, you shouldn't, shouldn't receive any error messages and you should no longer have any errors connecting to any of your friends over Xbox Live. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I am Dr. Killifus. Thank you and have a good day.